Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Lindsay and this is the third installment of Backyard Birding 101. Now it has been quite some time since my last video so I really appreciate you tuning in today. It is currently late July here in Massachusetts which means we are well past spring migration and actually towards the tail end of the breeding season for most songbirds in the state. But fear not, the bird we're gonna talk about today is in the middle of its breeding season and is one that is colorful, fun to watch, and pretty easy to find throughout the state. But before I get to that, I would like to send out my deep appreciation and thanks for everybody that supported Mass Audubon as well as myself through Birdathon turned Bird at Homeathon this year. We had a record-breaking year for Birdathon where Mass Audubon raised over $330,000 through this single fundraiser and we had more participants than ever enjoying the nature of Massachusetts. So thank you to all who supported me financially, gave to the organization, cheered us on. You are rock stars and Mass Audubon could not do the work that it does without you. So thank you for helping protect the nature of Massachusetts. So today we're going to talk about the American goldfinch. The goldfinch is a bird that you may have already heard of and probably seen. It's a year-round resident in Massachusetts, which means we get to see them in all kinds of plumages, from their bright yellow summer breeding plumage to their dull olive gray winter feathers. Here we have the male American goldfinch in his breeding season plumage. Notice that distinct black cap over his eyes and bill and the black wings with a little touch of white as well as that very distinct bright yellow color. Male birds will look like this from springtime through early fall. So if you see a bright yellow bird, take a look for that black on the face and wings and it might be a goldfinch. Now these birds love to fly high, especially the males, and will often make an undulating or wave-like pattern in their flight over open spaces. If you see a bird doing that and it, you hear the following call, you might be seeing a male goldfinch. Here we have the female American goldfinch in her breeding plumage. You'll notice that she is much less yellow than the male, but still has a distinct splash of it over her face, the rest of her body being an olive sort of yellow. The females do have black wings with a touch of white, but also lack that black cap over their bill and eyes. You'll notice that these birds in general have a very tiny bill. This picture shows it quite well and that conical shape helps it to pick out seeds and other small plant matter that it might eat or nest with. Once the breeding season is over for many songbirds, they often molt or lose their feathers and regrow them in a duller pattern, what we call the non-breeding plumage. As you can see here, this male American goldfinch is much less yellow than in the summer months. He still has that distinct black wing and a very faint outline of the black cap over the bill and the eyes. But in general, the bird is much more muted and more similar to the female. Here we have the female American goldfinch and it's non-breeding plumage. You'll notice that this bird is overall an olive yellow but still maintains that black wing with white stripe. This bird is extremely similar to a juvenile male or female goldfinch, which means a bird that is generally under a year and has not gone through a breeding season yet. This goldfinch in particular is also in a very classic goldfinch pose, clinging to the very tippy top of a plant. This is always a fun one to see. This is a male American goldfinch transitioning from non-breeding to breeding plumage in early spring. He's about halfway there with that yellow. 
Goldfinches love hanging out in open spaces lined with thickets. So most yards, gardens, and orchards are great habitat in which to see goldfinches. Now I mentioned earlier that this time of year is late in the year for most songbirds to breed. But for the goldfinch, this is the peak point of its nesting season. That's because the, the plants that goldfinches depend on to feed their young and build nests are at their peak in the summer. Behind me here is an example of a habitat where you might see a goldfinch. Now they love weedy, brushy plants like this, especially things like goldenrod, which is a yellow plant right in the back. Look for them clinging to these plants quite acrobatically and gleaning them for different food items. This time of year, goldfinches are pretty easy to spot. After all, the male is bright yellow. If you're a distance away, look for the undulating flight of a small bird and listen for the song I played earlier. Often they'll be in groups, so look for a few of those small birds together and perhaps you have a goldfinch. Now in the winter time, goldfinches are still in the area, albeit much less bright. They are more of that olive colored I showed before, but they still readily come to feeders and they often hang out in groups, especially in evergreen trees and brushy areas just like this. Here we have some decent habitat where you might see some goldfinches. Notice the goldenrod on the edge, the wide open space lined with thickets and trees. Here's another example of a habitat type that goldfinches love, big flowery open gardens. Now I should mention that goldfinches also love sunflowers as do many other birds. So that's always something you could plant as well. Right now as I'm standing here, I have seen a couple of goldfinches and I've heard them singing too. They're pretty small and they like to fly up pretty high. So I am not sure you'll be able to see them as they whiz by, but. This is the kind of place you'll want to look for them. Goldfinches are in the state of Massachusetts year round. So we're lucky enough to see them in their different plumages and at different times of year. If you want to attract goldfinches to your yard in the summer months, it's important to have the right habitat type as I described earlier and to plant the right things in your yard. A few things that they like are cone flowers, which are great for goldfinches, as well as lots of pollinators and bird species, and things like field thistle. Now, many types of thistle are nuisance plants or invasive to Massachusetts, so make sure you pick the right kind of thistle before you plant it. Now, of course, plants won't always work to attract goldfinches, for example, in the wintertime, but they do readily come to feeders. If planting a garden is not an option for you and where you live, don't worry because goldfinches love coming to feeders. Goldfinches are probably best known for enjoying thistle seed, which is actually called Niger seed. Niger seed is a very small seed. As you can see here, it's very little, pretty fine. Goldfinches have a tiny bill, which is perfect for breaking these open. Now this seed is best served in either a tube feeder or very affordably what's called a finch sock. Now this is just a mesh tube with a drawstring. You fill it up with niger seed and you hang it anywhere you've been seeing goldfinches. Oftentimes you'll see a couple on here, which is very fun. They're very acrobatic. Now one thing to be aware of with niger seed is it's pretty messy. So if you don't want to be sweeping up the shells, another option for you could be sunflower hearts, which I've mentioned in previous videos. They're a favorite of many birds, but especially goldfinches. So you can see here, they're just sunflower seeds without the shell. And these can go in any standard tube feeder like this. There's plenty of options out there. If you go to a bird supply store, you'll see dozens of options and they often sell both sunflower hearts and niger seeds since goldfinches and other songbirds are so popular to feed. One thing to be very aware of, especially with goldfinches, they're what's called communal feeders. Now, as I mentioned before, on a sock like this, you might see three or four little goldfinches eating away, plucking out seed. 
as cute as that is, it does come with some drawbacks. Goldfinches and other species of finches that feed communally are often victims of what's called finch eye disease. It's a lot like conjunctivitis in humans. However, it can sometimes be fatal to the bird either directly or indirectly because they are compromised from predators and other dangers. So if you are feeding goldfinches and you notice that any of the birds have a swollen eye, crustiness, seem to be acting a little odd, it's very important that you take down your feeders, clean them thoroughly with bleach as I described in one of my previous videos, and leave them down for as much as two weeks, which is a bummer, I definitely feel. However, it's best for the birds that if to discourage them feeding in a central location and passing the disease around to each other. Another thing to be careful of is if you see your finch sock getting tattered, to make sure you replace it. They're very affordable, so oftentimes you'll get a pack of three of these. You don't wanna have a little bird claw getting stuck in these and hurting them. So just keep an eye on your birds, keep an eye on your feeder, and enjoy watching all those acrobatic goldfinches. Here we have a goldfinch showing symptoms of finch eye disease. You'll notice how crusty it is around the bird's eyes. Now, when I was looking at this bird in person, it was acting very out of character. It wasn't eating, it wasn't flying away when other birds were chasing it, which is generally not typical of a goldfinch. So if you see a goldfinch or any bird for that matter showing these symptoms, it's definitely a good idea to take those feeders down for a bit. This morning while wandering around, I stumbled across a naturally maintained pollinator garden. It's loaded with native plants and flowers designed to attract bees, butterflies, other insects that are pollinators. Right now I can see plenty of bees. There's a monarch butterfly, lots of dragonflies. Also, a lot of the plants here are a favorite of the goldfinch. So if you look right behind me, you'll see these purpley flowers. These are called cone flowers. Now oftentimes you'll see a goldfinch picking off the little bits at the top here. So if you see these, keep an eye out for your goldfinches. You also might see other birds and definitely butterflies, bees, the like. Thank you so much for joining me today. That's all I have for you about goldfinches. I hope you see them around either in your yard or when you're out and about. Now, if you have any comments, questions, or corrections for me, my email is in the description of this video. So feel free to shoot me an email. Same goes for if you see a really cool bird somewhere. Now, as a reminder, these times are unprecedented. So please, while you're out birding, remember to wear your mask. Don't be that person and make sure you don't approach other birders and keep your distance and stay healthy. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.